here's the construction of the Bluetooth audio player and the battery unit. If the batteries can't be charged anymore, it should be simple to replace them. There is the standard battery controller here, and this is the replacement set. The cells can be easily bought on the internet. Uh, the only thing to mind is the right connections. So before you disassemble the old battery set, uh, you should m mark the connections. Basically, these two connections are uh, for charging, and these connections are to be made with the battery set. One of them is the plus, the minus, and two between uh, individual batteries. So this doesn't require much electronic skill, just careful marking. And the easiest I found is to buy a special battery case instead of trying to solder the batteries together, which might be quite difficult. So instead of soldering, you might put it in a ready-made set. So once more, that's the proof that the battery is working, it's charging because the light is red, and I've actually checked that it works with the batteries. By the way, this is what it looks inside, quite decent loudspeakers. Here is the main unit, the Bluetooth mo mode and the amplifier. And here's the battery part and this little part needs to be replaced or mended.